All right, we're live in Deteroid uh, 77S8 TAC E. That's 77S8 TAC E in Deteroid. Uh, that is the border of Deteroid and Tenerife. We're seeing the remnants of a huge fight that just happened where a Komodo, the first built ever, we'll double check that fact, was destroyed. That belonged to Test. And uh, we're looking at the fight as it is wrapping up. And this is a fight between Test Alliance and Fraternity, I believe. All right, guys, in the public channel here, how are you? Hello. So, What's it, going on? Introduce yourself before you just talk for the first time so people can know your voice. But what what happened here? From what I can gather, uh, Test dropped on a few uh, super caps or just caps in general that test were had not um for had and dead or i don't know much more besides that uh, how did this thing start uh, somebody said fraternity was having a lot of bad luck is this a fraternity fail of some sort or is this because it looks like test took a beating here initially it looked like uh that's a right fort- oh yeah orion here uh it looks like frat got baited into a bad fight they were losing uh super caps they lost an Erebus and a ragnarok early on along with the numerous faxes um i and initially joined the horde fleet on the way out there thinking there was a blue titan tackle until we got closer to the system and realized we were heading towards the frt uh fight that was currently going on um once we landed on grid, FRT sided in dreads on top of a Komodo that was on the 46 DP gate, which was in the Tenerifus. Um, they weren't making a lot of headway at that time with the uh, Horde Jackdaws providing cover for FRTs. Uh, I think they had an Eagle Fleet here. I didn't quite see it. Um, soon after that, FRT dropped uh, their Titans along with uh, looked like some Blades of Grass Titans as well and immediately doomsdayed the uh, Komodo. So they, they took out Komodo, it looks like. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to move us into on-air, and we'll move people from public to on-air so that we can see actually who's talking. It'll be a little bit easier. So here we go. Yeah. One second on you guys. All right, you guys are all able to talk. You don't have to talk, but you're able to if you need to. I'm still doing extraction right now. Are you in test? Yes. So uh, what was this and what are we looking at? Can you zoom in, by the way? Yeah, thanks. Let's see those wrecks. Show the aftermath. Yeah. The gory details of a fight that just happened. You're looking at System 77S8 TAC E, that is officially Deteroid on the border of Tenerife. That is a hot border between Test and Fraternity or uh, Winter Coalition. Does the coalition still exist uh, as it was? I haven't really, uh, I'll have to find out about that with, uh, maybe we'll have Norris on the show at some point. I know I still see Theron and uh, Blaze of Grass hanging out with them, so there's still groups that are hanging out with FRT. Local did just spike with Blues. Looks like the FRT Eagle Fleet's back in the Currently, the FRT Super Caps are signing out of system still. I just want to make a comment. I believe there's a uh, jump freighter in the middle of everything right now. That's kind of hilarious. Is a jump freighter in there? Oh, I see him. 
Wait, currently? Like there's actually a Oracle. Oracle. Yeah, there's a Oracle. yeah, there's a Oracle in the middle of everything. That's not surprising. I know we jumped in Rourke's to salvage and loot things from Citadels when they died, so I'm not. Su- I'm surprised there haven't been some here sooner. Just move. Well, the question that I have is: Did out. the uh, did the Komodo get looted, or was it blown up? The wreck that is. Uh, is, is that as far as you can zoom in, by the way, or can you get a little closer? Yeah, there you go. Let's have a look there. Uh, oh, I see the Komodo. If that's it on the right, top right. Okay, right there. Just zero in on the middle of that, the gate even, and just stay there. There you go. See if I can adjust the camera over here. That puts it near the middle. Okay, great. Thanks for lighting things up. Appreciate that. Uh, let's uh, tighten wreck. So it wasn't blown up. No, it wasn't blown. Well, there is a Titan wreck. Is that the Komodo? Oh, that could be the rag from earlier. Uh, it looks like, uh, it looks like um, a Leviathan, so it might be a Komodo, because at least what looks at the top there, it looks like it's beak, um, which is what Leviathans have, but uh, Leviathan is the same body shape as a Komodo. There's some racks over to, I think, the left over there. Yeah. Normally we don't go live, but this is a significant, if that is a Komodo, and I've seen the kill mail, so I'm pretty sure it is. This is a significant uh, fight. Yes. Hopefully the beginning of many. Yeah, well, these, this is a hot zone. And it's going to get a little bit hotter in a few weeks uh, when the truce between these two rivals goes away, and we'll probably see a lot more. Uh, destruction maybe on this scale, maybe larger. Right now there's a lot of uh, small skirmishes that seem to create some surprises like today. It looks like a bunch of dreadnoughts at the uh, the bottom left of the screen here. Uh, but this Should is... I see, but... No, zoom in on the gate because uh, that's where everything is really. Yeah, and just hold. I know you're flying around to stay alive, so... <laughs> I appreciate it. That does look like the body of Leviathan right there at the top. Uh, if you just if you're looking at the screen, there's the gate that's glowing. Uh, up and to the left is the the remains of what looks like a Leviathan. Um, but we understand that not to be a Leviathan to be it's very very expensive. Uh, oh look at that giant wreck, tractor beamed down to that Rorkel. That is amazing. Look at that. Um, that's coming through. Yeah, it's huge fleet coming through. You can see this least, uh, well, you can't tell by the amount of lines. Every one of those oh. lines represents a ship coming into this place. I I don't remember seeing that in the past. I do appreciate seeing that yeah. now. That's new. That's new as of uh, maybe a month or ago. Uh, it's not, it's, it hasn't been in the game very long, but it's kind of neat. Now you can tell how many people are coming in uh, instead of uh, gate fire, which is what you, what it used to be. Yeah, now FCs can panic a little bit more. Yeah, right. You can really uh, intimidate somebody. Um, so what we're looking at is remnants of a fight that just happened, but essentially between Fraternity and Test. Uh, Test got a Komodo taken out. We understand it's the first Komodo that was built, second to be destroyed. And uh, the fight is over a lot of the major uh, super capitals uh, have... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Extracted. Uh, but uh, it looks like uh, they just pulled drones here. That's what those, if I'm not mistaken, are those, what are those little triangles? Destroyers. Oh, it's a fleet of destroyers. That must be what just flew in. You see, a, just a minute ago, there was a bunch of gate activity. That was a fleet that was coming through, and it looks like it's a bunch of destroyers. Do we know where they're from? The destroyers were... Uh... Lords of War and uh, the Munins that just came in and warped off our Black Legion. All right, so we have Black Legion in here. Uh, Lords of War, who are they? 
lose with FRT. I think they're part of their coalition. There's a super cap that just is in the middle right now. I just want to point that out. What kind of super is it? I believe. Uh, you cut out. Say it again. The Nix, I believe. Oh, it's a Nix in there, huh? Who does it belong to? What uh, alliance? Oh, look at that. The uh, Komodo is being tractor beamed. You see it moving there right through the gate now? That is wild. That's not something you see. It's, uh, it's a Rorkel in there tractoring it. Tract tractoring the wreck to itself so that it can salvage that thing. I imagine it's already been looted. Uh, when a ship is destroyed, you can loot it right away. Um, and now it's being salvaged, which wreckage will disappear. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see it anymore. That'll be a ton of uh, salvage they'll use uh, to either sell or to, uh, to make stuff with. Usually you make buildings or structures with that kind of stuff. Um, yes, oh, all Ron. the supers are safe. <laughs> Tell us what happened here. Like, is that a Komodo that's just got, um, yeah, it's been tractored and salvaged, so it's disappeared, but looked like a Leviathan, was it? Uh, yeah, so it was a Komodo. Oh. Um, and yeah, he, so we caught a, a Titan on the regional gate and it bumped and it was, you know, a little bit off the gate. So, you know, one of our fleets caught it. We jumped in. Um, the so we ended up killing two titans, and then our Komodo got desynced, and you know was raging. Uh, well, not raging, but you know he was just Rage irritated because he could. Well, no, uh, we were all in there. Um, we all yeah. went in, and then just a little bit ago, uh, well, because we were getting the frat, uh, you know, we were seeing the frat kind of uh, dreadnoughts you know, coming in and whatnot. So yeah, it, it, it got hairy very quickly. And um, we, yeah, so we ended up, we killed two and we lost that Komodo. Oh, that's uh, a huge loss. Oh yeah. That's a monster, monster. This is a big victory for fraternity to be able to take that out. I mean, it turns that battle around completely. How much is a Komodo worth these days? I guess we'll look at right, that. 60. 50. Once again, please. Once again, please. Zeke L showed it at 260. 260 yeah. billion. Yep. In comparison, the two, you killed two dreadnoughts, did you, or two titans? We killed two titans, yeah, oh. for like 125 each ish or something. So I mean, right. comes out about the same ish right around in there. Yeah, but right. uh, the danger was, you know, kind of uh, hair raising, <laughs> seeing all the sabers and devoters. Well, and, oh. Titans are not 125 right now, even if they are registered. Yeah. Those things are much less than that. So uh, the, the, I think if you look at the battle report, a 250, let's say, billion isk loss for test is going to dwarf anything fraternity, fraternity lost here. They lost two titans, I imagine, even fit. They might come to 120 together, 120 billion. So it's twice as much. I yeah, mean, right around in there, yeah. So I'm hearing that one of those titans was Norris's, and he was the FC. Let me uh, see if I can contact Norris um, and uh, confirm some things. If that was him, that was that was a bold move. Did you expect that? Um, test guys in here. There's more than one, Ron. Well, I mean, I jumped in, you know, as like five minutes after it started. And, you know, I'm sure that the FCs were kind of expecting a little, you know, um, retribution because, mm -hmm. you know, we were getting lots and lots of pings. Right. And that's pretty rare. So, you know, then that's when, you know, when I heard the dreads, then that's when I uh, <laughs> it was actually funny. Um, I. I had a, a hell on our keep star and it got bumped and it was drifting off <laughs> and it drifted out of keep star range. And I got nine pings in discord. I got four PMs in game. And then finally somebody called me <laughs> and said, get your hell back in the keep star. There's a frat fleet nearby. It was pretty funny, but uh, we were getting all of our faxes over there to just try to save anything else. Right. But, um, they got that Komodo up in 77S, I think it was, yeah. Well, uh, who was um, who was the FC on the test side? 
Uh, we had several. Farm Stink was one of them. Oh, Farm Stink? Uh, Cedo. Yeah, or AC do. Yeah, a couple of guys, yeah. We had Creature. We had a bunch of guys that uh, all were pitching in. Creature Murphy. Creature. Yep. Stedio was the Horde FC who formed and brought the uh, Jack Dawes down. Oh, well, I just realized I misspelled Detroit. Uh, we'll fix that. <laughs> I think I need a, a, a to break to fix it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah. Well, so, go ahead. What do we got? So, Ron, I have a question for you. It, from what I've heard, it, you guys have been kind of doing like these small campaigns and ca caught a lot of supers in Deadroid. Do you think this was kind of a payback type of thing? Like, um, you guys heard about some. I, you know, I think that this is just the build up. This is, um, you know, our build up and their build up preparing for the nip to end. And everyone's just raring to go, you know, but um, we're going to hold our end of the deal. And I know that they'll hold their end of the deal. So it's going to be like fights like this of, you know, us kind of poking, you know, uh, the, the beehive and seeing what comes up and. Uh, you know, things like this are, are really fun, right? Because they, they they sort of test, you know, the defenses and the reaction time and that kind of thing. And, you know, I it, we, we would have gotten away cleanly if it wasn't for that. If it wasn't for <laughs> but, those kids you know. and that dog. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a scoop. Everything was, everything was going very, very well until that desync happened. Very well. See, from what I got from Thinning Eyes, he said it was just kind of your normal Goku fleet catches some, you know, some Titans out of place, and then uh, FRT came came back swinging harder than Test expected. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's funny. We were preparing for tomorrow's show, so t talking in stations happening tomorrow, 1600 UTC, and we were saying, well, let's look at the South. Uh, oh, there are just a lot of skirmishes, a lot of small things, and we really don't want to talk about a bunch of small things if we're talking about the same guys over and over again. We expect this area to heat up even more when the non-aggression pack goes away. So we were going to, we thought, well, we just won't report these little fights and stuff. And then this little fight turns into uh, a really big fight quickly and not that a lot of people participated but the value of the item lost uh with that komodo is a big deal actually two titans is a big deal for fraternity to lose uh, but then the komodo is, is is actually a, a worthwhile strike back absolutely you know and we kind of get into these little mix-ups like this but you know and so I guess that, that sort of build up as well. So I'll give you an example. You know, we'll take a Goku fleet out or a Munin fleet out. And, you know, ever since, I don't know if you saw, but uh, Fraternity Bozond, um, I forget the streamer, um, Zarvox. He, they bozed on Zarvox's fleet and, uh, you know, they were super pumped up about it. Well, we'll take a little fleet out and, you know, they'll kind of get off the gate and they'll try to boze on us. Mm -hmm. Well, then we'll tackle the Titan, you know, and in, in, in past history, it's been, you know, like two mids to get to them. So, you know, we've done, you know, we have structures now pushed far, you know, north and we we have a much, much bigger umbrella, right? So, you know, catching a Titan isn't that rare, but, you know, just being able to to kill it is, you know, that's kind of a first, you know, here in the recent future or the recent past. Yeah. What a, a, a quick escalation of events. Now, I got to ask, why did he bring a Komodo into this fight? Does he want to put some, He want, I assume he wanted to put some kill marks on it. And, and this is one of the worthwhile times to use it, right? You're taking out a couple of enemy Titans. Yeah, you know, he's um, one of those guys that's ultra rich. Um, he's the one that has like all the AT ships. And so, you know, for him, it's not as, you know, like me, you know, undocking a Komodo is like a big deal. <laughs> but for him, you know, he's like, well, and I, he, I was just uh, talking to him a little bit ago. And he said, well, you know, I always said that if it got killed i was going to get you know nestimol or something so like he he's just like one of those you know like there's several of the really old school players you know 
that kind of thing. Yeah. So, is but it... he was he was upset though for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I would imagine he thought he was safe. I mean, there's ten other Titans on those uh, Titan loss mails from FRT. Yep. Yeah, and you know the the thing is, seventy seven S is you know separated from forty six with that gate, right? So, you know, we had half of the people in forty six and half the people in seventy seven, and we were trying to get everyone from seventy seven over, and you know they just uh, they did a great play, right? Which is, you know, get the bubbles down, get the devoters, blah blah blah, and and drop the uh, the dreads. Yeah, no, they, it was a great play. Yeah. Well, uh, they're probably celebrating over in uh, Fraternity Land. We'll put this up on screen here. This is the Komodo kill. We'll go ahead and put up that. And that's uh, Gallant Renukin. Here it is. Yeah, valued at 240 billion isk. And uh, I'll just take a quick look here to see what fell. And everything that's red is destroyed. Um, everything in white fell. And it uh, that looks like some stuff, but. You got to excuse me. I'm going to change uh, the focus of the, the thing real quick because it, I think I'm getting targeted. Oh, yeah. So our camera guy uh, is running around. We'll, we'll see if he survives. Uh, I'm good. I, don't, I okay. really don't know the point of that. Uh, but he's going to turn around to switch the camera around. In fact, so that people don't get dizzy, I'll just look at the kill mail at this moment. Thank you. Uh, okay, well. Um, let's see how much of this was the ship. Well, the majority of it was the ship, although you had a 30 billion... Um, I can't see the fit, but most of it definitely was the ship. The ship's worth two hundred billion on paper. Uh, that's a Komodo. So, and that's not always accurate. the uh, the damage control on it dropped. The officer one. That is here. Oh, that is. Uh, that's so funny. When I got killed in a jump freighter, that's what dropped for me because that was the only thing the jump freighter was carrying. <laughs> and so I know these things can be expensive. Uh, this one was $22 billion, and that is the majority of the fit. Uh, it said that it was uh, $200 billion for the ship. The overall fit, all the modules that go onto the ship, cost $31 billion, and $22 billion of that $31 billion was one module, and it did drop. So somebody looted a very very expensive module it is if it wasn't blown up i'm still not certain whether it was or wasn't according to yeah it dropped according to uh z kill so i i don't know how i mean if the wreck was shot the wreck was not shot i think we saw it tractor beamed unless that wasn't the komodo that we were watching um so yeah I'm know. pretty sure it was, judging by the name. Because the Komodo gets a set of fighters, correct? Oh, I, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes, it does. I'm sorry. I was yeah, the Komodo the is uh, the best Titan by a significant margin. Judging by the name, it was two fighters and something else. I forget what the name of the Titan was. Uh, okay, so we'll see if we can get a picture of the Komodo being uh, doomsdayed. So the Komodo was in company. It wasn't by itself, clearly. Uh, oh, and there it is. So we'll check that out. Wow, that is beautiful. Let's check out this picture here. Uh, oh, my God. That's a lot of doomsdays. Yeah, so they took advantage of that and... Didn't pass up the opportunity to knock out uh, Komodo. Here's the picture. We'll see. That's a bit better. All right. Up it in. 
Uh, that's the remnants of the fight there. Uh, I'll see if I can bring that picture back in so we can see the action that happened just a few minutes ago. Um, this might have happened about 40 minutes ago, right? Yeah, give or take. Yeah. Uh, There we go. Two. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't cover my face so that people know who's talking. We'll have a picture up shortly of the Komodo. Uh, here it is. That is it getting doomsdayed. reposition it there in a moment if you look in the top corner you'll see some fighters coming like going straight up but they're trying to chase me down it's just kind of funny like uh they're currently about 900 off so i might have to warp up meanwhile a fraternity hell just died to a gang <laughs> in, the, in the same system or is uh, the fight uh, uh another area wicked creek mm, okay Null yeah, that's uh, wormholers. Oh, nice. Tell them about eight more, and uh, they're going to even it out. <laughs> so that is the uh, as it happened the doomsdays. Wow, look at those titans. Uh, you see a mixture, and you can tell by the color of the doomsdays that are being used, uh, but it looks to me like it's an armor fleet of titans. You can tell by the green and the yellow beams, and those um, are uh, Galente and Amar titans, uh, and that would be uh, Erebus and Avatars, respectively. And they are destroying a Komodo, which is uh, a big opportunity that was handed to them by Test, um, by an ultra-rich player, basically who uh, has the capability of flying these ships that are oh, 250 billion isk each. Um, even though he flew in with a, uh, a group of test titans as well, um, they targeted him and destroyed him. I believe the other that was the only casualty on the test side, right? Yeah, and some little stuff. Yeah. And I, I think you already mentioned it, but the significance of that is that was the very first Komodo built in-game. Yeah. That is a big deal because it's worth, I believe, more than what is on paper. It, at the time it was built, it was, at a, it was at a premium. And I wouldn't be surprised if that blueprint to build that Komodo was $500 million. Because I remember that when they first came out, that's how much they were going for. And I don't know if that was the built cost or the blueprint cost, which would be a, a major portion of how much the um, a major portion of how much the uh, a Titan is worth. Um, because I believe the build costs are the same as a normal Titan, and those build costs can get as low as 50 to 60 billion. So for it to be worth uh, 500 billion, that's like 400, 450 billion worth of BPO. If this was the first one built, and it was, but we don't know how much he actually paid for that um, blueprint. Can you ask him? And it, is he? Uh, not, yeah, let me ask him. He may not yeah, be he's right talking mood, now. But is he? All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and also, it's the first faction Titan laws for test. Oh yeah. Well, these are rare. I believe it. This is only the second faction Titan to die. No, this is the third. I think it was definitely. Um, yes, yeah, the third. Yeah, it's the third one. There's already a Komodo killed. But this is not the first Komodo to die. And there was one, what's the Blood Raiders one called? The Moloch. Thank you. The Moloch was destroyed. I believe that belonged to Goon Swarm. Well, I'm, yes, you're correct. I, I think it was Goon Swarm, yeah. So who was the first Komodo killed? I don't know who that was. Anyone? Uh, I, I'm almost positive that this is the first Komodo killed. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I would have heard of the Komodo being killed uh, before. 
And um, so that information may not be accurate. This may be the first Komodo killed, only the second faction Titan to be destroyed. And these ships on paper are worth 250 billion, but in reality, these may cost much more than that. These Komodos were going for 500 million when they first were uh, introduced. And uh, since this was the first one built, we can assume that this was one of the early ones that was paid for. So uh, we'll try to get some numbers on that. There was a Moloch on field for FRT that doomsday the uh, Komodo wow. as well. Wow, so you had a Moloch doomsday a Komodo. That is hot <laughs> in Eve terms. That is hot. That's some, that's some money on the table when uh, faction titans are blowing each other up. And this is not one of the fights that we had like 9 Tech 4 or X-47 where thousands of players were there. This was a very risky fight for both those groups. We're talking about Test and Fraternity going at it and really putting some stuff on the table. Uh, with a Moloch. I just yeah. realized yeah. there was a Moloch on that kill now. I just now noticed that. Yeah, Moloch destroying a uh, 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 faction. Uh, Komodo. Thank you, Komodo. Got stuck there in my head. I was I was thinking of the faction, but not the name of the ship. The Moloch killing yeah. Komodo is just, I mean, that's a big... That's big. That's really hot. I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. Fraternity is impressing me. I've been on some FRT fights where things have gone he downhill pretty quickly, and initially that's what I thought was going to happen when I saw the first Titan Lost Males. I was like, oh, well, Fraternity bit off more than they can chew, and they went all in on it. So I expected more. I didn't realize that Tess had already bounced most of their stuff out, and the Komodo had gotten left behind. Oh, how, no, okay, I don't understand that. How did he get left behind? Isn't that the first thing you extract? Yeah, he um, he got bumped and he disconnected and he said that when he logged right back in, he already had six devoters on him or broadswords or something, and that was that. Oh, I so didn't, he was trapped. I didn't have the right overview on, but he wasn't far off the gate. When I landed on grid, he was about 12 off the gate, and I landed at zero of him. I didn't see the, the Hictors, but uh, yeah, he was he was 10K off the gate at least. We'll see. We'll, uh, let's see if I can put that picture back up, and then we can. Well, this just you know, got a area, interesting. Area is making a good point, and I was thinking about that um, the other day. You know, uh, the 64-bit client will allow a lot more kind of rapid changes, you know, to your overview and things, you know, kind of coming in and stuff. So I don't think that had anything to do with this. But, you know, just as a note, uh, the 64-bit client will help a lot with uh, the kind of loading and things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm hedging my bet with that because I know, like with anything, when they first start something like this that there's going to be some hiccups in it so i expect some some bumps before everything gets ironed out and as as with anything with us and eve players we'll we'll rage about the the initial failures of it and then get over it hey, camera can you zoom in a little bit on that gate just get a little tighter thanks Yeah, I'll try to put All it right, back so, up. Uh, so he paid three fifty for that originally. Okay, that makes sense. It's not as much as five hundred million, but maybe after the build, uh, that was for the actual ship. That right. was for the blueprint. Three fifty for the uh, blueprint. I'll be back in one second. So yeah, it looks like Black Legion was in support of FRT. Yeah, I saw Eli uh, on grid there. Which is interesting because uh, they've, been, they've helped out goons a few times. Uh, I know I was shot at immediately on grid when I landed there once uh, the Titan had died, so by Black Legion. Yeah, I was blown up uh, four times in Sabres. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you did or did.
He doesn't know that he's live right now. Yeah, I'm going to mute him for now. He can unmute himself. Um, but yeah, um, it was uh, pretty hectic, you know, and it was a, a really great play, you know, on part of uh, Fraternity. A nice little counter drop. And you said you were on grid with, you died four times with, in Sabres. Were you in, are mm. you in frat? No, I'm in test. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> when uh, we were talking about that everything was getting wrapped up, um, you know, we were all aligning out. And there was, gosh, I don't know how many Titans and Supers were there, but we were all aligned out. And, man, I just kept seeing all of the Sabres warp in, drop a bubble, and man, this is going to get rough. Yeah, I was, was four of those Sabres. I just warp in, bubble of the Apostles, and then, boom, I died. Like, the last saber was when the Munin fleet landed, and I was like, oh, yeah, this this isn't going to be good. I need to get the hell up. Boom, dead. It's like, never. Yeah, that's how my saber experience was when we uh, dropped on the XIX move up. It just landed on grid and insta -gib. A uh, The dead one. No, there's no more fighting. Uh, I, well, there might be some small fighting some cleanup um, but that top view you see is a live view of the gate uh, the bottom picture is um, the Komodo getting DD'd yeah, BL uh, Horn all of extracted that even NC was in uh, the area near the end of it they just never made it into system Comically enough, when Goku first uh, pinged, I was like, all right, I'm going to jump to Utech Q and start burning my way to 08 because I had never set anything up. I bought all of my sabers and a Minokawa today while I was in 08 just to get everything ready. It was pretty sad. Yeah. Matter all, I muted you. Just unmute yourself, buddy. Or here, okay. I'll unmute you. It's a, I wasn't... I was... Uh... Oops, I was muted on stream, so uh, but I left my open mic. For you yeah, I muted there. you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I heard you in the background. I didn't want to, <laughs> yeah. didn't want to eavesdrop on you. Yeah, we had a <laughs> real life happens uh, in and around Eve Online, so I had to yeah like, some stuff. So Nate, what set this off was uh, a test. Goku fleet was cruising around and found a Titan. Uh, that was like 40 off the gate and they were just like hey you know what let's uh let's go for it and uh the, so the gokus were there and keeping them off the gate and uh we dropped supers on it there another titan was there so we killed two titans but as we were leaving they captured one of our komodos and that's the bottom picture you see there is that komodo getting do doomsdayed right there a beautiful picture. So that's what to, set it off. I have to admit, it sucks that we lost a Komodo, but that is one beautiful picture. Yeah, I love those kind of shots. I really wish that I could hear their comms as they fired all of those doomsdays. Let's get big on that gate again. There's not much to see. Those little those little dots mean nothing. Yeah, I might as well uh, go in close to the gate and see what's going on around there. If anything comes in, we'll see it. Probably nothing. This looks like it's over. Um, but we are live. 45 minutes ago to an hour ago now, a Komodo was killed by a Moloch and uh, other Titans. Uh, we have a picture of that on screen. Thanks uh, for giving us that picture. And uh, let's see. As you can see, the uh, fight is generally over. Okay, so I just heard uh, from 
the Komodo owner. He paid 200 bill and a Cremoas for it. So like 500 technically, but really 350 because he paid 150 ish for the Cremoa. Okay. Well, that's that's less than I heard. Uh, I heard what the maybe it was what people were trying to sell the Komodo for, uh, five hundred billion. Uh, so far less than that. Yeah, but he said the second uh, Komodo was two fifty, but he got that first one and it was a, he you know around three fifty is what he ended up paying for it. So why didn't it escalate uh, when the Komodo was in trouble or did you try to get back in there? Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, you know, you know, and I always think of like super fleets are like a big slinky, you know, <laughs> they kind of stretch and then they bunch in the middle and then the rear kind of jumps up. And that's what we were doing is we were moving. So 77S, uh, where it died, and 4060P, where fraternity is. So that's just one regional gate, right? And we were in 77S, and we were extracting. Um, and, you know, during that um, extraction, you know, some people were already in 4060P, and it happened so quickly, um, you know, because, you know, Creature was... CJ, CJ, like get on comms, PM me, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, he wasn't around. And then uh, by the time he got back, it was like, it was already over. Yeah. Uh, it was, there was 20 plus faxes that died before or around the time the uh, Komodo was there. So I'm not sure how what the time frame was, if they could have come in there and saved it at all anyway when the Titans came in. When the Dreads came in, it didn't look like it was dying very quickly or at all, really, with the, the fact support that was. Once the Titans came in, though, it, uh, they melted it with all those doomsdays. Yeah, and, you know, and, and the other guys, you know, are saying, hey, you know, we could have done this or we could have done that. And he's, he said, nah, he was done. He said, um, we would have needed Hall Titans. And, uh, you know, that he said, even that, you know, might not have changed anything. And then, and then he says, uh, by the time I could see again, after I logged back in, there was six broadswords on me. So that was that. I think, I think it had been a very bad call for Tess to go back in. Horde was already there with a 100-man fleet. Uh, BL was already there. FRT looked like they had grid control. NC was on the way already. So I I think it would have ended pretty poorly if, if Tess would have tried to driven it further. I definitely agree. If we had went back, it would have been a bloodbath. Because I think it only took us... 15 minutes to get from Horde staging to here. And we took zero uh, Titan bridges. It was just straight taking jumps and a couple animal X gates. Yeah, matter all. They're asking for that uh, picture. Bigger. And uh, yeah, I, I would also like to see a high res of that picture asking for a friend. <laughs> oh, the Imgur link's in there. Oh, where is it? I just re put it in there again. Uh, yeah, was that you that gave me the picture? Or I can I can find out. Somebody gave it to us uh, in Twitch chat, and we're really thankful to him. I'll call out his name as soon as I find him. was a while ago um i think it was venom sense at least he posted it one time but i don't know if he's the original poster of that oh can you post it in oh, uh, no, the public it was so me dude 904 i think you can see him there in uh, chat he's the one that yeah originally... some dude 904 yeah he's the guy that uh, originally either took this shot or uh gave it to us and so thanks for that it's a beautiful shot yeah that is perfect um significant shot too i mean in this fleet and it's not the biggest fleets that you see uh you're seeing some high risk game playing there 
uh, with the Komodo going down um, to, I don't know, how many, how many Titans did Fraternity have? They're probably under 20. In addition to that, they had a Moloch in there, which is just as expensive as a Komodo, or maybe a bit less, but definitely five, six times a normal Titan. So some high-risk uh, playing right there. Very exciting. Yeah, the, 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 the Ragnarok that died was armor fit, but uh, it was hyperspatial fit. So it tanked uh, like a third of the Erebuses due to the rig difference. On that kill mail, Frat had 43 Titans. One of which was the Moloch. Yeah, Helgo, you know, and this is kind of what we've talked about on the show a few times in the past, right? Which is, um, Frat is really, uh, they haven't sat on their laurels, right? With this nip in place. They've used it to their advantage and they've built and done some empire building and, and really gotten up their industry and mining and building supers and getting their pilots trained. I mean, I think they've done a great job. And, you know, I think the NIP was an absolute great play, you know, on their part to give them some breathing room. Uh, so, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, next month is going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, I think all eyes will turn on to this uh, this this area more so. Uh, it, for some reason, due to the, the region and FRT and X death, you don't get a lot of coverage down here for what they got going on. Yeah, like I said, we were just talking about this as we're preparing the show for tomorrow morning. We'll clearly talk about this, um, but it was it was kind of a questionable if we would cover it because there were a lot of small fights, a lot of skirmishes. It seemed to be kind of a preamble to what's going to happen in a few weeks when the non-aggression pack falls between these two coalitions. Um, and we just thought like, well, we're going to talk about them later, so let's not talk about them now. But as you can see, sometimes these things escalate quickly. Uh, is everybody extracted from that? Uh, we have live coverage, but um, it looks like if I'm looking at our camera, uh, everybody's extracted, so there's not much to see anymore. There's a few ships here and there, but small stuff, really. This fight is definitely way over. Damage has been done. Komodo going down to a Moloch and other Titans. That is super exciting. Yeah, I think the whole area of theirs is going to heat up a little bit and, uh, you know, uh, more kind of testing. And, you know, I don't know uh, how eager <laughs> Fred will be to drop Titans, but I hope hopefully they are, you know, and they're they're feeling it and they're get to, they get to play in the big game. And it's a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I think we got the scoop on this one. Uh, we probably just wrap up now and, and uh, see you guys in the morning. We still have a show to prepare. Um, we'll get more details on this. And so I guess we could chalk this up to a, um, exchange of blows and uh, test would have really, um, really put a hit on uh, Fraternity, but it looks like Fraternity took out an expensive ship on their way out. Really, uh, have to give it to fraternity for that one. That was a great kill. I, th I think scoop is an understatement. You guys were live before the fight was over. <laughs> I was still trying to extract, and you guys were already live. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, targeting stations has really good, really good alert system in there. And actually, I could talk about this <laughs> now. Maybe I should save it for uh, one of our Tuesday Thursday shows, but. Uh, we're actually making some changes to the Discord, uh, which is allow these kinds of live streams to automatically uh, ping everybody. And then uh, it puts us at the very top right, so you can see if you're looking at people inside the channel, people who are streaming EVE Online only live go to the very top uh, that are considered part of our like uh, anointed 
streamer. So we have Joe Bain. Uh, we had him up earlier. And this is only the second time that we've used this uh, for this live broadcast. So we want to make Talking Station Discord a lot more of a living place because all the people there are the ones that are making things happen all over EVE Online. So it's only natural to use the place as a... Uh, you want to know what's going on out there right now, check in on Talking In Stations. Actually, Ron, you were a big part of that. You were the one who started putting in a lot of uh, really cool information here and there that uh, made the place come alive. Well, I like it because it's uh, it's like no propaganda and it's not toxic. You know what I mean? It's just like a bunch of people just kind of hanging out and talking about the game, which I enjoy. You know, I love just sitting around and chatting about it. So. You know, if I go, you know, uh, to my stuff, you know, my alliance, then, you know, of course, it's it's pro dino and it's, you know, and it's spin and it's and that. And it's, it's, it's all good. I love the guys, you know, but, you know, I also just enjoy, you know, kind of talking about the game, you know, more, you know, kind of like a third person ish almost. So mm -hmm. that's why I like uh, the TIS Discord so much. All right. Well, Thank you guys in here. Uh, I want to thank Orion for showing up early and giving us some details. And uh, uh, I don't know if you want me to mention who Camera was. I can always keep that obscure. I would suggest he stays uh, in that system-ish around yeah. in that area. <laughs> um, I might have had an announcement here. Let me see if I can work this out. Oh, and whoever the camera guy is, you might want to jump into 46DP. Um, Why is test waiting? Right? I don't know if you can. Uh, no, but I mean, there's just uh, More might be like a, some little bit of fighting and stuff there. Oh, we'll check it out. All right, good. Yeah, so we'll have Naros on tomorrow. We just booked him. Uh, he's a leader of fraternity. They are the guys that just killed this Komodo. We'll talk about this, uh, among other things. Uh, he'll be our guest tomorrow on Talking In Station. So we'll have Fraternities Leader Naros on tomorrow. Uh, it'll be nice to have him on. Excellent. Let me just say thank you. Okay. And let's take one more look at that uh, beautiful shot. Yeah, Moloch is on that kill mail, uh, and that is significant. That, is, that, that kind of changed it, colored it a bit more, right? Like it was a big deal before, and then that just took it to a different level altogether. Yeah, and if you want to head over to the, what is it, the RU gate or R1 gate or something? That was our exit gate. Let me look here. You're going to make that into your background, aren't you, Matterall? I should, right? How dramatic is that? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is great. so awesome. The hell of a shot. Um, let's ask the, uh, the guy who gave it to us. Uh, some, here's a big old long name. Some, some dude 904. Some dude 904. Uh, did you take that shot? Uh, if you're still around, let us know. Good shot. Perfectly timed. Now let's make sure we post that shot in that into Discord. Good. And well, we'll talk about it tomorrow as well, right? 1600 UTC. Yeah, that's right. We're going to have uh, Neuros on, as I said before, so that'll, that'll be pretty good. I want to catch up with other things, actually. I've been wanting to have him on. Uh, Moloch's on the kill mail again. That makes it extraordinary. Now it's something that's very interesting. I really like that. And not only that, but this is a it's a like I said a preamble. This is a, a warning or foreshadowing of the kind of fight that's going to happen soon. Uh, I think the uh, non-aggression pack ends between these two major coalitions in three weeks. I think. Uh, it should be March 24th or around there. 22nd, yeah. 22nd, okay. Yeah, and then the, and then and then these two are going to be gloves off 
So we'll have to see how that, that works out. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's certainly going to be the focus of EVE for a while for a lot of the content in the areas. And we already have plans for after this war is done. I keep uh, poking everyone. They have to keep up the uh, the most. Uh, oh, what was that? What was the award that test won? The the most not game changing. Most influential. Was, yeah. Yeah, that's it. The most influential. We have to keep up that pace. <laughs> yeah, you guys have stumbled out of the gate, though. I have to say, after winning it in two thousand. Uh, 18 when you guys were uh, did an amazing array of different things um, your first campaign out of the gate was because we consider the perimeter campaign was part of December um, and then January February uh, was your attack on Horde and that just seemed to go not very far so it would be interesting yep. to see how you guys like recover that Very, like, I have to say, it's very surprised, but not surprised, because what happens after a major year of campaigning is the FCs kind of take a break. In this case, I don't think Pro God took a break. I think Billy might have. I don't know. Um, but, it, you know, it just wasn't a fruitful, it wasn't a fruitful beginning of the year for test. And although you've been getting good scores uh, and stuff, it looks like this went sideways for you guys too so it kind of it's in that same trajectory so i think you guys will recover or i assume you will um but this is not a good start compared to the amazing year that test had last year where they were the most influential yeah and we like to try hard <laughs> actually i was going to say didn't the uh, br come out pretty close to even uh, it'd be surprising with two two titans, I think, but we'll check it out. We'll cover this again tomorrow. Uh, I got to sign off so I can actually get some sleep before the sixteen hundred hour, where we uh, bring talking in stations to you. We'll be talking with Carneros and Elise and Naros uh, now from this. We're also booked to some CSM, I believe. Well, actually, not confirmed, but they're always easy to get on a show. <laughs> got to say, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll be going over some of the stuff they listen to at the summit and uh, talking about some of the um, other things. And then we're coming close to the season ending in uh, about uh, five episodes, I think. Um, so we only have like three Sundays left. There'll be this one and then two more. And we have some great surprises for you in the next two Sundays. So we'll check that out. Uh, but for now, I am going to sign off. And uh, thank you guys, Ron and company, for uh, jumping in and helping me out with this. Uh, really quick coverage on what turned out to be an amazing... Um, fight between test and fraternity thanks everybody for watching we will see you tomorrow in uh, at 1600